Welcome, everybody, to the Nuggets of Gold podcast. Today, we have a quick update for you. Both Jaquaski Tart and Tavon Wilson were signed today. Both of these are one-year deals, and I think this is a really good move for the 49ers as it adds some much-needed depth to the safety room for the Tavon Wilson signing. And then in the Kwaski Tart signing, you're getting back your starting strong safety and a very quality strong safety at that. We're going to get to see the Jimmy Ward Kwaski Tart duo once again. I do think they're one of the most underrated aspects of this 49ers team. Both Jimmy Ward and Kwaski Tart have been really good players. They're not exactly providing a lot of highlight real plays, but they're very quality players and the defense is helped a lot by both of those guys. So bringing Kwaski back definitely helps the 2021 49ers team. I'm looking forward to him being back on the team. Hopefully, um, we haven't really seen the details of the deal come out yet. Hopefully, it's not too much. I wouldn't expect that it is. I'm guessing it's going to be mostly incentivized um, and then a low cap hit for this year. But overall, smart move. Maybe the 49ers draft the safety or draft a secondary player early in the draft. Um, and and having Kwaski Tart, having Jimmy Ward, having Tavon Wilson, all these guys, it's going to help a lot to mentor these guys. So yeah, now we're starting to see the secondary get figured out. We got Emmanuel Mosley re-signed. We got Jason Verrett re-signed. Now we have Kwaski Tart re-signed to go along with Jimmy Ward, who was already on the roster. And as we know, at the beginning of the season, the secondary was, it was all over the place. We didn't know who was going to be back. We didn't know if, if any of these guys were really going to be back. And so having Jaquaski Tart, you know, not have that big market in free agency, I think that helped a lot. Um, I think that the COVID year did impact him for not getting a bigger deal. I do think a lot of teams would have valued him, but they weren't really able to just because they're light on money, really. So I do like this deal. Uh, comment below what you think, too. I want to I want to know what everyone thinks about the, the Jaquaski Tart deal, because there are a lot of people that weren't really high on bringing that but I'm all for it. And Kwaski needs to stay on the field. That's the big question moving forward with him. He's just got to play a lot of games. Most years, he only plays around 8 to 12. So we want to see that number go up. If he's healthy all 16 games, his impact will be felt deeply throughout that defense. Everyone will know that he's out there making plays. He's a very, very good guy in run support. I do like Kwaski a lot. Um, Tavon Wilson, there's not a ton on him. He was a Lion and a Patriot. Uh, he's probably going to be a reserve safety He's basically competing with Marcel Harris and Tarverius Moore for each of those backup safety spots. Um, he's a hybrid guy, so we'll, we'll see how he plays out. But the big news today, Jaquaski Tart is back. I think it helps a lot. Comment below what you think about this move. I really want to hear people's opinions. I know the 49ers faithful was all over the place with this one. A lot of people wanted him back. A lot of people didn't really want him back um, and felt that the injury concerns were too big of a deal. But overall, I think it's a good move for the 49ers. I think they got better today. I am happy that he is back on this team and look forward to seeing him out there in 2021. If this is your first time on the channel, I just do some updates every once in a while on free agency. So that's what this is. But we are a podcast platform. Make sure to like, subscribe, and and make sure to sub and turn on the notifications so you can get some more videos. But we're going to have 40 hours content for you all off season and then all regular season as well. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys soon.